forward to vacations because my skin flourishes when I'm out of the country. I don't know if it's because I simplify my skincare routine so it'll fit in my carry-on or if I'm just less stressed out on vacation, but whatever it is, I am grateful for it because for the last few years, I've dealt with adult acne. And of course, you know, breakouts come with that. But what I've really struggled with is the stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation that's always left behind. Over the last few years, I've tried to use actives to treat this because I thought it would just speed up the process. I have learned after years of trial and error that I should focus less on acids and exfoliants and microdermabrasion at home and focus primarily on hydration, soothing, depuffing, and lymphatic drainage. I've partnered with Medicube and I've begun using their HR Derma EMS shot device along with their Glass Glow collagen line consisting of their Glass Glow toner, which is also an essence that contains hydrolyzed collagen, atello collagen, and soluble collagen that hydrates the skin from the inside out, locks moisture in, and gives skin a dewy finish. Their triple collagen Glass Glow serum consists of a thousand times fortified collagen, hydrolyzed, Atello and soluble collagen again makes up the triple collagen complex that penetrates faster and deeper into the skin barrier, nourishes and plumps the skin, and supplies skin with collagen and other essential nutrients to maintain a long lasting skin suppleness and glow. And their collagen night wrapping cream protects skin elasticity in your sleep. It fills in the gap with hydration and it also doesn't stain, suffocate, or irritate the skin. I personally have extremely sensitive skin and I had no issues with the collagen night wrapping cream. You can even peel the collagen night wrapping cream off the next morning but I personally opted to use a warm damp towel to remove it since that works best for my skin and my skincare routine. Lately I've been experiencing just a bit of facial puffiness in the mornings because of fluid retention and Medicube has been an amazing solution to this issue and you can use this device on your face and your body and it comes with three different modes that essentially translate into different kinds of professional aesthetic massages. These modes are up, slim, and body. Clinically tested and FDA registered, this advanced beauty device helps to improve facial contour and features and the appearance of lines from the inside out by gently massaging and stimulating inner muscles of the skin using medium frequency energy to improve elasticity. To get the best results, this device must be used with the Medicube's HR Booster Gel Serum. And it has ingredients like hyaluronic acid and plant stem cells in it that really allows the device to glide on your skin. And I just would not recommend using a cleanser or a moisturizer or an oil as a substitution. This gel is truly perfect and designed to work with this device and you want to use the device for 10 minutes every day you can literally feel the muscles in your face both contract and relax and it truly does feel like a gentle stimulating facial massage the muscles move completely on their own and your face feels like it's getting a workout honestly that's the best way i can describe it but it doesn't hurt at all so when you turn the device on it automatically goes to slim mode which helps to define so i use it on my jaw and my cheeks if you press the mode button, it'll actually increase the intensity, but if you press and hold the mode button, it'll change the mode to up, which helps to lift. So then I use it on my cheeks and my forehead. I also like to use the body mode to release tension in my shoulders. And there's a light that indicates which mode you're in, and the device does not hurt at all, but you can definitely feel the device stimulating your muscles and sculpting and toning your face. I apply the gel directly to my face and onto the device, and then I go in upward motions. And the device actually keeps track of time for you, but what I do to one side of my face, I like to do the exact same thing to the other side. So usually that's about five to 10 strokes. You can use more of the HR Booster Gel Serum to feel less of an effect, and that's why I apply it to both my face and the device, but I also keep the device at the level one for now because you always wanna start the device on the lowest setting. And as I get used to it, I'll move to like level two or level three for more of an effect, but you definitely wanna be careful using the HR Derma EMS shot device because you will feel it in your teeth, but it doesn't hurt, but it can make your teeth feel a little cold and your muscles contracting and relaxing can feel like a gentle little zap. But you wanna avoid using this device around the eyes or on the throat, avoid the armpits and the chest area, and remove or cover all metal jewelry or accessories. I have a discount code in the description box and I'm also hosting a giveaway featuring Medicube's collagen night wrapping cream. It will last for one week and five winners will be selected and you can apply by leaving a comment that simply says Medicube plus why you want to try out Medicube. All of the details are down below in the description box. And thank you so much Medicube for sponsoring this video. But as far as you and I are concerned, we need to get packed and ready to go because we have a flight to catch.
Okay, so I have not been good at vlogging. I'm sorry. Dating suit is from Shein. This bag, it's not from Shein, but it's it's not the original Hello Weekend bag. The glasses are, I think the glasses are from Shein too. I'm not a big fan of the shoes. I wish I had some like, not Crocs, but like kind of Birkenstocks, like maybe chunky white sandals. Doesn't matter. And then the braids are just up. I don't know y'all, the braids are kind of growing on me. Will I get them again for vacation? Probably. I just like the fact that I don't have to do my hair. It cuts out a lot of time. But the bathing suit came as this set, so it comes with this cover up and the bikini. And yeah, just the essentials are in the bag. So we're gonna put the sign out on the door so that they can come in and clean the room. And we're gonna go and get some breakfast and then lay by the pool. But you know, come through the body's bodying we need to go on some more hot girl walks and like lift weights but for now the body is bodying there's the beach the like waves are crashing so those sunglasses are key my braids I will tag my braider. I have a frontal tan line from where I wear my frontal wigs. Okay, but it's it's a really relaxing vacation. I, I'm realizing now that I'm probably not gonna be able to make this into a whole entire dedicated vlog, simply because this is probably going to be quite boring for you guys. On the other hand, me, oh, I'm finna turn up. As in, I'm finna relax. Dinner plans tonight at Rosa Negra excited about that I'm trying to get this tan line to go away okay this is like my first time having braids like look at the bitch braids like what do we think this is so new rushing to get ready earlier but let me show you my outfit show you the outfit super quick we're literally about to run out this is the outfit we're going zip lining there are like six or seven levels of the zip lining so I have on long socks these like trainers from pretty little thing this outfit from Shein the braids are just up key sunglasses this is the look Good morning. I'm very obviously back home, made it safe. So I'm taking this collagen. This isn't sponsored, I actually pay for this through my um, esthetician. I honestly think it's time to get a new vlog camera. I've had this Canon G7X for a while, but the TikTok girlies are getting the Sony ZV-1. But I'm just restocking this in the fridge. And then y'all, I didn't do my nails like the best way. like. I was kind of rushing through it and I had time, so I don't know why I was rushing. All my press-ons popped off on vacation except for the two pinkies. I will say the best, one of the best things, cause it was like an amazing vacation, but one of the best things that came out of it was this tan. I look so golden, like I look, look at my arm. 
Look at my arms. I look so golden. So good. I look so good. I'm unpacking my suitcase. I posted this on Instagram, but it was on close friends, so... Y'all are my close friends on here. I'll just tell you what I said. Essentially, I'm trying to figure out not just like my aesthetic, but like my brand archetype. I made my entire personality being a full-time influencer. So it's a little scary to admit, but I genuinely don't really know who I am outside of like the content that I've created over the last few years. I've kind of gone this way and that way. I like this and I like that and I, dress like this and then I dress like that and then I do my makeup like this and I do my makeup like that and I do my hair like this and I do my hair like that. That's genuinely because I've been trying to like find what sticks, like find what works. I think the thing is it's been hard to try to discover what I want to look like and like the aesthetic I guess and like what I want to give, what I want to give off. It's been hard to do that with such a public facing like career so now that i don't have to show up to live to make it from one month to the next i can really figure things out and it doesn't have to be broadcasted now that i'm in a position where i can comfortably make consistent organic content at first i was a little sad that i just had to stop doing this full time. Now that there isn't any pressure to pay attention to the algorithm, there's no pressure to pay attention to the analytics, I truly can, like I've always said I was doing, I truly can just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Because if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. I get paid every other week. Who cares what doesn't work and what doesn't? And like, better for me if something does work. But like now, I feel like I can create content for y'all instead of creating content for sustainability. I've emptied out my suitcase. I got a new suitcase, by the way. Here she is. My weekender bag is over there, but yeah, here's my suitcase. It's by the brand Bays, Shea Mitchell's brand. Absolutely amazing. I got the packing cubes to go with it, and I got these like clear or transparent little baggies. They come in like three different sizes. This was the best I've ever packed. I didn't check a bag. I went to Mexico, okay, for like five days, didn't check a bag. And then to make matters like even better, it comes with like little um, things you can slide inside to label what's in the packing cube. This says basics, but it's spelled like the brand name. I need a new vlog camera. Anyway, this says basics. It's spelled like the brand name, but this has all of my clean clothes in it and I have like extra clothes that I didn't even get to wear this one right here says pajamas I just rolled up my pajamas and had different pajamas for every night and then this one says the good stuff and this is like what I put my outfits outfits in and then I just brought my bathing suits in these Shein bags flat iron for my edges it, it went in this like little pouch that I got from Amazon and then I brought three pairs of shoes and I just put it in this little base bag for shoes. I'm at the grocery store. My personal favorite place to be, Central Market. This is just a glimpse of what I got. And as a reward, I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A. I got my groceries in my little grocery cart. Let me show you my cart. I got it from Amazon. This is the best thing like ever. Here's the fruit that um, either needs to be stowed somewhere differently or needs to be cleaned. The berries need to be cleaned. And then this is what the fridge looks like. I got some new juices. That's the pre-made food that I got. Some new oat milk. I moved the eggs up here. I got some pressed juices. Emptied the green juice from Central Market into this container. Got some new um, yogurt. And then spinach kale down here. Um some leftovers from yesterday. Still have some apple cider vinegar beverage left. It's just kombucha from Trader Joe's, one Celsius. I haven't tried this yet, but I've heard good things about the strawberry beverage and all the sauces and condiments are on the side. Vitamins are up here. I feel like that's pretty much it. 
Oh, I forgot. I got kiwi, mango, limes, and lemons as well. I'm doing my nails right now. I've already done this hand, but I'm watching Iron Chef, so <sighs> I have one more hand to go. Have all my nails laid out. Oh, let me show you the brand. It's by Kiss. Kiss can do no wrong in my eyes. They are just, they make some amazing products. So this is the box. You'll know the box when you see the box. I purchased these from Ulta. I've also purchased them from Walmart. I've also purchased them from Target, I think. I think Walmart, Ulta, and I think Target. You can probably get these at the beauty supply store as well and probably online too. So highly, highly, highly recommend with them like filed down this is what they look like they look super natural just like um oh i'm not where the light is so of course i look kind of weird but they look super natural just like acrylics but um like i said i'm watching iron chef so i'm just gonna time lapse me doing my other hand this hand since everything is laid out i have somewhere to be in like 40 minutes so got some chlorophyll water in here my windows up just to get some fresh air in the house but let's go let's get it done with the other hand I just need to wash my hands here we go and here we go hey so I'm actually running out of the door really quickly I have a lash extension refill appointment my suntan from Cabo is crazy it's like on my it's like right here and on my nose from my sunglasses sometimes I wear them sometimes I wouldn't girl i'm just trying to get it all even um i have my braids wrapped up i have on this white fox boutique outfit and uh the plan for the lash extensions fuller on the top so we're gonna do a fill and then i want some bottoms i had a few bottom lashes we were just trying them out for the first time but i want some more but i need to head out and then i'll show you what they look like when i get back home hello good morning i have a meeting in like 30 minutes we're gonna start with color correcting so this is the mac pro longwear concealer in nc45 but i got really tan when i went to cabo and i don't think that this matches me like it used to i'm gonna use my body blender to blend this out so i'm using this it's the nars soft matte complete concealer in the shade caramel and I go like under my brows with this. I'm gonna take a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. Then I take the Fenty Match Stick. I gotta lift this up. I have a frontal tan line right here from wearing frontals. So I like to put bronzer right there. Right here, right here underneath my lip. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm literally not doing too much to the brows. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless Filter in the shade 6.5 Deep. I add a line right here, a line right here, and a line right up here on the forehead. I'm gonna blend the bronzer and the Flawless Filter together. Now it's time to set everything because I have left now it's time to bake i'm gonna take this um what is this powder puff fold it in half and kind of like do this with it wake it up wake it up and press and like roll i'm taking my morphe bronzer this is the glamour bronze in the shade big shot and I'm just pressing this bronzer everywhere I put that um, Fenty bronzer. Same bronzer, 
just a big fluffy brush and then i'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush and we're going to go underneath i know i have some lashes down here too the next thing that i'm going to do is add my blush i'm going to take the jaclyn hill what is this rouge romance palette i got this from morphe the morphe store fancy pants and pretty posh are the two colors that i'm using mac studio fix powder in nc 43 and we're just going to press that underneath and then i'm taking this real techniques fluffy brush sephora micro smooth powder in the shade 58 almond and this sephora micro smooth powder oh girl it is my crow and then not because i super duper need this but hold on excuse me not because i absolutely need this but i like to add it this is the miron barrier spray so it makes my makeup transfer proof that on there and i guess i'll add a little bit of lip gloss this is the finished look and i'm about to log into my meeting and it took me like hmm, maybe 30 minutes to do it's technically after work and i just threw a different top on and a different pair of shoes on so my spot on that side sorry i'm actually gonna go get some sushi i've been craving it and i just i don't know i need it ignore that head down there that's why i hold my remotes in um, here's the outfit. The top is from Zara. The pants are from Meshki. And then my heels are just pumps. The pumps are from Christian Louboutin. Louboutin, Louboutin. I just wanted to get a little bit more dressed up and go treat myself. Um, I've kind of just been living on autopilot. Things have been fine. Like, I've been doing fine. But I just want to, you know not exhaust myself but have a life outside of work and make sure that i'm like getting fresh air and like seeing the light of day so i'm going to go get my hair done this is my natural hair after taking my braids down i just threw it up in this bun and we are going to get a sew-in i have a six by six closure and uh, bundles from beauty forever so let's go <laughs>